I want to share in this video how you can publish a Nougat package. Basically, you have two different situations. When you have the source code of the assembly you want to publish, and when you just have the assembly, the DRL file, maybe it was a assembly that you find on the web uh, some time ago, and it is not published on Nougat, or maybe it's an open source project that you get the code that is not published on Nougat yet. So you want to build it and publish it into a Nougat repository. So I will explain this case and I will leave the second case for another video. So let's start. First of all, let's say this is my component. This is the assembly I want to publish. So first of all, I need to create a Nougat package. To do that, I will need to write a file that will describe my package. That file is the Nougat spec. So let's see how it is. Basically, it's an XML file with some information about my package. So in this case, the identifier of my package will be system utilities IO. And the version, this is the first version. And authors, well, it's me. Owners, the same. Copyright and description. Well, in this case, this is a library that wraps the system IO file class in a mockable way. That's it. And then I have to define the files that I want to include in this package. So basically the convention says that you have to put a live folder and inside that folder you will be put in your assemblies. Of course, I could include some other stuff in the package, but in this case, let's limit to just this file. So when you have your new spec file, we will use it to create the package itself. So in this case, I will have Nougat already installed in my machine. So here it is, my new spec file, right? And I will just run Nougat pack and I will give it the spec file. It will create my Nougat package. Here it is. As you can see, it takes the identifier of the spec file and it appends the version number. And this Nougat package is just a zip file with my assembly inside and some metadata files. Um, look at this. We are getting an, a warning because we just put the assembly into the lib folder, but we didn't specify what uh, version does this library target. So if we want to do this in a better way to avoid this warning, we should place our assembly not only inside lib folder, but I should create another folder here called, for example, net for zero or something like that. In this case, I'm not sure which framework does this library target. So I will just leave with this warning message. Okay. So now that I have my package built that is here, I just go to Nougat. In this case, I will publish this package in Nougat.org because it's an open source package. I build, but 
if I want this uh, package to be private, to be used just only inside my organization, I could use some other uh, package server. Some, for example, myget is another service that supports uh, NuGet. My, no, my, yeah, this is the name. So here you can publish some open source packages, but also private packages. So once you go to nuget.org, you create an account, you sign in, and just upload the package. So let's look for that package. Here it is. And upload. Now, nuket.org is showing me the information that we already specified in my package. I can uh, edit some information because the Nuget package, the Nuget spec I used is not complete, right? So, in this file, you can specify some more information. I just put in here the minimum required information to publish the package. But if you want, you can specify much more information. In fact, you could create the spec file. And you can see here that when I run nuget spec, I get a package.nuget with some more fields that in my case I decide to omit, right? So let's complete this um, this uh, publish procedure. I will submit just like it is. And after a while, the package will be available for everyone. So let's recap and see what we have done. We just took this simplified spec file. We complete ID version of our owner copyright and description. And we mentioned the files that we want to include in the package. Then we run nuget pack that created the package, and finally, we upload it to our own NuGet account. That's all.